Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. So, uh, <laughs> another day and another step closer to kissing the America we all know and love goodbye. Kissing the Western world we all know and love goodbye. Okay. Uh, you know, somebody had sent me last night something about uh, the Chinese national newspaper, you know, how that one works. I mean, it's state run. It's not like our papers here, which are privately held, even though they are mouthpieces of the Democrat Party. Uh, you know, the Chinese, Chinese media is completely state run. And to put this in a nutshell, you know, China is blaming the United States for COVID, you know, supposedly it was, according to the Chinese and what they're telling their people is, you know, it was created in a lab at Fort Detrick, you know, here in the United States. And we're the ones that uh, infected the world, you know. And again, you know, this is very typical of a communist, socialist, Democrat uh, philosophy, you know, accuse the other side of doing exactly what you're doing. So that was kind of what came out of China. And if you think that the same stuff isn't going on here in the United States, you know, with the propaganda, the political correctness, the complete BS that is being fed to the people, okay? You know, we talked, I talked yesterday in the video about how we're not seeing anything in the news coming out from Hurricane Ida down in Louisiana. You know, ama amazingly, uh, you know, the people who you talk to will tell you that it's under chaos. It's a living hell down there. And the media is just like, oh, it's a minor inconvenience. Well, you know, the, here's a stupid one. I don't, you know, but I'm talking about political correctness, but, you know, here's a stupid one. I'm not a gamer by any means. I don't play any video games or anything like that. But, you know, this came out the other day. I thought it was kind of funny. I guess there's a game called World of Warcraft that's very popular. And I don't know anything about it, but, you know, saw this come across in a story the other day that the the manufacturer of the game is taking out the term green skins which was a, if you will, derogatory term made for a character. I guess they're orcs, whatever the hell an orc is, okay? But because it was racist. So now, according to them, it's possible to be racist against a creature that doesn't even exist. Figure that one out, okay? But this, this, this is how completely off the wall things have gotten but back to reality here okay with things just completely insane and us turning into the western version of the ccp the chinese communist party okay did anybody catch what the national archives did yesterday in the united states yeah this one of course won't make the national news you know they wouldn't have the U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of Independence are now labeled with a harmful language alert. The U.S. Constitution and the Declaration of, uh, of Independence, okay? And what the archives are saying now, and bear with me, I've got to find this here. Uh, a disclaimer to read them that it contains potentially harmful content of a racist, sexist, uh, ableist, misogynistic, uh, xenophobic opinion and attitude. The U.S. Constitution is now racist, sexist, misogynistic, xenophobic, whatever. The Declaration of Independence. The left is trying to destroy every single thing that makes America what America is. Okay. Now, it's been tried in the past to obliterate history. Uh, Pol Pot tried to do it. Uh, the Bolsheviks tried to do it. 
I mean, literally, Pol Pot called it year zero, that everything that happened before he came into power no longer existed in history. And history was only going to start the day he assumed power. This is what the, the DNC is trying to do. If you saw yesterday, Virginia ripped down a 40-some-odd-foot statue of Robert E. Lee. Okay? You know, oh, well, you know, it, it, Confederacy, you know. Let, you know, regardless of the fact that Dwight D. Eisenhower, you know, general that kind of led us through World War II, called General Lee one of the greatest Americans in history and said that the, the United States could never be overtaken if there were more men like Robert E. Lee. And 75 years later, we're taking down a statue of somebody like that. Yeah, fine. The guy was a Confederate. Confederates lost the war. No problem. But doesn't mean that he didn't love his country. Okay. Now, again, if you are a Democrat, by definition, you have to hate this country. That is the only way you can be a Democrat. All right. You you have to despise everything about this country, what made it what it is. You don't like the Constitution now. You don't like the Declaration of Independence. You don't like capitalism. Why in the hell do you live here? Please move to China, move to Cuba, move to North Korea, and you'll live in the utopia that you look for. If this place is so bad, if the continental United States is so terrible, why are you staying? There is no... Remember, you know, y'all wanted to stop the wall from being built. And the wall was to keep people from coming into the country. This isn't like the Berlin Wall that kept people from getting out. You are more than welcome to leave. If this place is so despicable to you, please GTFO. We won't miss you, okay? Now, how we have to deal with this. Every single day, it's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. If you saw it today, Biden's approval rating is now at 39%, okay? He's dropped eight points in a week, you know? Now, Harry Truman had the lowest approval rating since it's been uh, recorded when he left office at 32%. Remember, Truman was the one who had the balls to sit there and drop the bomb on, on Japan twice, okay, and end World War II, you know, but only a third of the country wanted to get out of World War II, I guess, you know. And then Jimmy Carter, George W. Bush, and Donald Trump come in at 34% as the next lowest, at the ends of their terms. Now, granted, you know, got to give it to Trump. You know, he only went through four years of, you know, uh, lies, scandals from the Democrat Party that there was no proof to, you know. But the propaganda that the Democrat Party puts out, just like the Chinese Communist Party puts out, is meant to mess with people's heads. Lies, lies, and more lies. That's all it is. The Chinese are lying to their people. That's what communism does. The Soviets lied to their people all the time. That's what a communist party in charge does. The Biden administration is lying to the people. That's what a communist party does. Yeah. That's what we got going. If you don't think that... Jill and Joe are in bed with China. You know, go go look at Hunter Biden, okay? I mean, if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know, you know, give you this one, in case you didn't know this one. Joe was a huge stock owner in a company in, uh, that invests in and makes lithium batteries. Joe just gave Afghanistan to China. What does China want out of Afghanistan? 
all the lithium, because that's where the biggest lithium deposits in the world are. All that lithium gets mined by China, produced into batteries by a company that Joe is a major shareholder in, and oh, we want everybody to be driving electric cars, which, gee, how does that work on lithium batteries? Guess what, guys? Okay. This guy is more crooked than a pretzel, and there's facts to back it up. Yet, not a single person in Washington will do anything about it. The Republicans talk. The Democrats hide, okay? I mean, they don't want to be around Joe, but they're not doing anything to stop this either, okay? You know, we can only hope 2022 gets here and Washington completely turns around, if we're even a country by then. I, I mean, at the pace Joe's d going, we're done. I mean, in next month, the, the U.S. runs out of money again, unless for the hundredth time we raise the debt ceiling, okay? It's, what does that mean? Turn the printers on, like they haven't been running 24-7 lately anyway, and we're still out of money. Okay, uh, I've told you guys about a market crash. Next month, you'll see the beginning to it when the country runs out of money. Okay, China is panicking. They're preparing for war. Joe's preparing for a rainbow parade. We're going to get our ass kicked. Just be ready. Pinball out.